Hi everyone, I'm back with another DT project for the Trinket Parlour. Um, look at um, Emily up on Facebook. She's got some beautiful items at very reasonable prices. Uh, just want to show you the project started off as a muffin tin that my wonderful dad bought me. As in, I said I'd like to try to alter one and he was very kind and bought me this one. So um, I'm just going to mention my dad, Bert January. Thank you very much, Daddy. So I started off, I decided to paint it all first with um, white gesso, just to cover it. And then I added, um, what was it? Let's have a look. Oh, I then used some more gesso with a little bit of gold mica in from Luminate and that's called real gold so I used that put a bit of that in but I wasn't a hundred percent happy with the color so I then added um, some oh what do you call it uh come to me uh, Mod Podge so I put some Mod Podge and added some more mica and then went over it and that showed sort of more sparkly and more clear so the mica showed better and then I added these all from the trinket parlor that was a, a doily which I cut up and put in there this one's another little doily in there and then I had those wonderful hearts Flower, and they've got like little, little flowers on them. I had two of those, so I put those in. And then from my stash, I got these uh, flowers. They're like a um, fabric trim. Got those. I then painted this metal uh, butterfly, two of those. I painted those one with a blue um a quick look what's it called ah oh, yeah it's these these acrylic paints by art alchemy and i used those one to paint on because they're quite um translucent so i painted this metal uh, butterfly with the antique rose and then I used an opal blue to paint the other one, which is up here. These flowers were Trinket Parlour, which I think are quite sweet. And then I've got the wings, which are from the patina box. And the chair and the penny farthing, they're all from the patina box. Then these metal embellishments I painted with the blue, I think it was, the blue paint and this one here. That all was painted with that so it didn't look so um, brassy. And then I painted all these bits, just touched them up a little bit, only just on just little bits, just dabbed some paint on. And then some more keys, and this is from the patina. These are all trinket parlor. In fact, the only things that are not trinket parlor are these two flat um or these two flowers. The rest, the heads, these little heads I thought quite sweet. All trinket parlor. Even the little roses. These little rose um not roses, bows thought they'd add a lover little touch um, and then added some seam binding to hang and then some for tassels and then I thought I didn't like the edges so I decided to use from my stash some lace so that goes all the way round and oh it's another little flat one oh, can you see it you can't see can you it's a little flower there little paper flower and then the wheat spray 
also Trinket Parlour. And then the phone, which I painted pink. So let me do that and I can show you all around. Just love those butterflies. All around. And the chair and the wings and the cabochon. I love these heads. They're just so funky. So it was really just to display all the trinket parlour. Well, not all of them because obviously she does loads and loads of things, but just to showcase. That's it, just to showcase some of the beautiful trinkets from the trinket parlour. So I'm really happy the way this came out. Didn't paint the back because it's going to go on the wall anyway. So when I've decorated my craft room, this will go on the wall. Okay. So, I hope you like what you see. I will promise that I will do a tutorial for one of my projects. Just got to um, <laughs> pluck up the courage to do it. So, if you like what you see and you'd like to just subscribe to me, um, just hit the subscribe button and like and feel free to share. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye. Bye.